What's going on, everybody? It's Chris from Photo, and this is Geared Up. This is our weekly live broadcast where we talk about lighting, photogra photography, uh, technicalities. Um, no, we talk about you know lighting, gear, photography, things in general, stuff that you want to hear about. Uh, we have a good time, take your questions, and just overall just create some cool stuff. Uh, if you're watching this on ProPhoto.com, you can see some stuff pop up around the edges. If you want some more information on those things that pop up, click them. I'll minimize, you can see the more information. If you're on Facebook or YouTube and you don't care, cool, hang with us. If you do care, go over to ProPhoto.com because that's where it's happening. So, today's cool because new product day, right? Anytime there's new stuff out, it's always a, a fun time. So, I figured that we would take that time to talk about some of those new products in the way that those new products work. Because I think sometimes people see a snoot and they see, might see a barn door. I think especially when people see barn doors, they're like, oh, that's kind of one of those things you see on like old Fresnels that people use in cinematography. Uh, and then snoots, I think people kind of just look at it and they're like, I don't really know what those do. I don't really, really care. Uh, just put a big softbox on my light and we're good to go. So let's talk about what makes them cool uh, and let's make an image with them so you can actually see what it is that you can do with them, which is really neat. Just so you can see what we're gonna be talking about in general today, uh, we're gonna be focusing mostly on talking about the click stuff because that's what came out, the click snoots and the click barn doors. So everything that we're gonna be doing today is gonna be with either an A10 or an A2, right? Uh, so that's kind of where we're standing. So just along the lines of the same stuff that you're used to seeing with the uh, gels and the, the grids that we've had for a long time and, and with like the, the click uh, Okta and stuff like that, uh, these are all magnetic. So you can expect the exact same stuff that you're used to seeing. These snap right to the front of the A2, the A10, the C1 Plus. Uh, so those lights right there, or also your A1 and A1X. So uh, anything in the A series and then the C1 Plus. So, but these snap right on. They give you, you know, these fully articulating leaves right here on the barn doors, uh, which are really, really nice. And what they do is it kind of just lets you take the light that you're broadcasting out of your flash, and it just kind of allows you to cut it right where you want it. Like if you want to keep the light off of this side of the, the image, you can do that. You know, you, you just have it like all this little play that you can do with it. And then on top of that, you can rotate them 360 degrees. So you have a lot of, uh, a lot of variation you can use barn doors with, which is kind of cool. And then with the click ones, they fold down really, really tiny. You can throw them into the, this little envelope or this little card size bag. It's kind of sick. And the snoot also comes with a cool case. Uh, obviously a little bit uh, bigger because the snoot is a little bit taller. Snoots are dope because one, they're really good at making a nice crisp light spot on your subject, on your background, on a hair light or something like that. Uh, what's really, really neat about, now the one thing that where something like a, an optical snoot might have an advantage is you can obviously take the lenses on the end of it and you can focus that lens a little bit more. This doesn't have that. It's kind of just a snoot with a, a, a smaller end. So it's taking the size of your modifier, making it smaller so the light's a little bit harder. Uh, but it's also giving you this nice crisp light spot right where you want it. So it could either be used for like a hair light, you can use it for like an accent light on a product. Uh, we're gonna be using it kind of like as a, as a spotlight in the image today, which is kind of fun. But what makes them unique is the inside of them is black, right? So there's no extra, so like whenever you shoot light into a reflector, like the Magnum reflector or something like that, the light's bouncing all over the place, right? And then it's coming out. So not only is the light coming forward, but it's also kind of going to the side. It's kind of just whichever the whichever way the reflections are, the light's going that way. But because this is essentially negative fill, there's, there's no reflectivity on the inside of this whatsoever, the light's just coming out straight. It's not kicking off of anything. It's not bouncing or anything. So that's what get, gives you that nice crisp spot of light. Uh, snoots are dope. And then the nice thing about the click one is it's even smaller on the end. So you can even get a little bit harder light if that's what you're going for. Uh, and what also is cool is now we have a snoot option for all of our lines of stuff. So you have like the click snoot for the A series. You have the OCF snoot for like the B series and then for like your D series and your Pro heads and stuff like that. We have our you know the gigantic metal snoot, which is kind of cool. So, oh, it's me talking. We have a little, we have a little, yep, a little keystroke mishap. So cool. And then also, uh, I think it's available for purchase today because I'm not really going to be using it, but just so everyone knows. Um, the OCF2 adapter is available, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and uh, I have it set up, I'll show you in a second. It's set up, this actual R53x4 is on it. 
uh, right there, that RFI 3x4 is uh, being held on to an OCF2 adapter. So, cool. So, with that being said, let's take an image. We have Kate here, uh, we have some lights, we have some snoots and some barn doors, and we're gonna have some fun. So, the idea behind this image was just kind of something to kind of feel a little old Hollywoodish, not too, uh, it's kind of Greta Garbo inspired, right? Right, yeah. Kate? I, I like her. Yeah, she's a big fan. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use the barn doors on an A10 uh, to kind of fill in Kate's body so it doesn't go super dark, but I'm gonna use that barn door to kind of cut the light, kind of cut it off right at like neckline. So, and, and what we'll do is I'll take a photo so you can actually see how the light's being cut. So we're gonna take the barn door, we're gonna cut the light right about neckline, and then we're gonna take the snoot and we're gonna put this nice punchy light like right on her face. Should be really, really cool stuff. And then I have another A10 here in the background just to uh, kind of make the background go a little uh, white, some more separation, it, it looks cool. Also, one of the reasons that we're, uh, another reason that we're going back just to be completely transparent with you, uh, because of the space that we're working in, uh, I was getting some shadows in the background that I didn't love. We threw the, the white up there, we actually kind of liked it a lot better. So we're going that route. So, ready to rock and roll, Kate? Yeah. Sweet. It doesn't matter. Yeah, if, 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 yeah, if, as long as as long as everyone can see what's happening. Let's see. Make sure they can see. Yeah. So. Uh, Barn door yeah. yeah. So, you know, a tasty little thing for people to remember. Put marks on the floor if you need to. If you need to move your stuff around. That's what I did, and now I think I'm in better shape today. All right. So, uh, camera settings. People are always uh, curious about what camera settings I'm using. Um, F8, ISO 2, or ISO 160, uh, shutter speed 250. I use that most of the time in the studio just because I'm trying to make sure that the video lights don't creep into the shot. Uh, so that's kind of why you hear me say that a lot. It's, uh, it's a good setting for me that keeps, uh, keeps the camera fast, but also, uh, one, keeps me out of high speed sync, but also uh, keeps the, uh, ex the other lights out of the shot. So let's do this first. So let's, let's turn off all the lights. I want you to see it kind of built. So let's turn off this light and let's turn off the backlight. So let's just show you the, uh, the barn door shot. So let's take a shot with the barn door. I'm gonna open them all the way so the light's covering, uh, the light will hit every, everywhere on Kate. So here we go. So three, two, one. So that's with the barn door, the light kind of hitting everywhere, right? It's nice, it's not supposed to be super powerful because it's more of my fill light and it's supposed to be more of a light for uh, making sure that the, um, her body doesn't go super dark because I don't want it to. So what we would, can do now with the barn door is I can take this top leaf, again, I said I wanted to cut it off around neckline. So I can take this top leaf and I can just start to aim it down. And what's neat, nice is, is, here we go, Kate you have the ability to put that light right where you want it. So it's not cut down far enough yet. So you can see that shot there, it's more on the background and more on uh, the top of her head. So let's try right here, three, two, one. That's almost there, I'm gonna open it up just a touch. Three, two, one. That's, uh, I wanna see if I can get a little bit more off the shoulders. I'm gonna rotate it because her shoulders just for the record, her shoulders are kind of cocked this, uh, like kind of downwards, like a little higher towards you, cocked a little bit lower, further away from you. So again, cool thing about the barn doors is you can rotate them. So I'm gonna rotate this a little bit to kind of do that same thing. And let's see if we're in that same area. Three, two, one. It's just, a t it's, it's, and uh, the one thing where, Something like the B10 or like a Pro Head or something like that would have an advantage over the A series. It, the A series does have a modeling light, but it's not the light's not coming from the exact same position that the the flash is coming from. So I can't use a modeling light to see where the cut would be, or else the cut would be uh, because the modeling light's at the bottom. The cut would be a lot lower. So this is why with the, this I'm having to use the flash. If I was using my B10, I would just turn on my um, my continuous light, and then I I could cut it like that way. So that's why we're taking so many shots right here. So three, two, one. So that's probably I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it just a skosh more just for me, but I think we'll be in the right area. That was my maybe too much. Let's let me, I think I might have hit it one, two, three. I'm good with that. So 
Now you can see we have the, the body of Kate lit, which means she's not gonna go super dark. So now let's bring in the snoot and we can see how that is going to affect all this good stuff. I feel like it might be missing me. It probably is. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like it's past you. So let's turn this way. Is that good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Perfect. So here we go with the snoot. Three, two, one. And there. So we have like this really nice, crisp blast of light right on her face. Uh, it's a little bit brighter than the light on the body, so it's bringing some more attention where we want it to her face. But it's this nice, round shot. Here's where kind of it can, you have to pay attention to other stuff happening. Now, if I wanted a dark background and kind of what we were doing, I could simply start bringing her further from the background, which we could totally do. But it's not the shot that we're doing. So I could bring her from the back, back from the background and I could change angles or something like that. And we can get rid of some of the shadows in the background. Uh, I'll show you in the shots here, just saying the extra shadows I'm talking about. But another way of getting rid of them is just to light the background and get rid of the shadows that way. And that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, the A10 on a box. And so all I'm using to, to for the A10 behind her to, is just sitting on an Apple box and then there's a foot mount that comes in your, with it's on the, in the bag whenever you have one. So I'm just using the foot stand that's in there. So, so let's turn that on. Cool. So here we go. Three, two, one. And there, so now we have this cool shot with her being separated from the background, right? And now we have this awesome, and granted, it probably looks a touch more contrasty for you. I'm, I just wanna look at the screen for them. Mm -hmm. It's a little more contrasty for you than it is for me. Um, but as far as like how the light is falling on everything, I'm pretty happy with it. Again, the barn door is simply there. This is as a, a fill just to make sure that sh this doesn't go dark because I don't want it to. Now, if that's your creative choice and, and you want it to be more just about the spot on her face, really cool, maybe you're doing something for a beauty brand or something like that and, and the highlight is the makeup. This is just a cool portrait, right? So you could go that route. So the, the A10 with the barn door right here is just to highlight her body. And then we have the A2 with the snoot on it and that's just to give us light on the face. That's to put that highlight right where we want it, try to bring your attention right to her face. Again, another cool thing that you could do, if, especially if you're maybe doing some sort of like cool, uh, again, beauty type shot, or if you were looking for a creative, uh, a creative option for adding light to someone's face. Really cool stuff. And then the A10 on the background is just there to give us some separation, also to get rid of some extra shadows that we were getting. We, uh, since we're shooting with two hard lights, we were getting a double shadow. That just helped get rid of that double shadow in an easy way that also kind of added some separation from the background. Any questions about anything? I'm trying to see, we see lots of hellos. I see that long question right there. Yeah, so like I was saying with the modeling light, um, someone, was, someone was mentioning the same thing I said with the modeling light. The modeling light uh, is really, uh, on, especially on the A2, it's more for pull and focus than it is anything else. Uh, it does, it's not the exact same um, light spread that you're gonna get from the actual flash head itself. The A1 does a good job of actually following the beam pattern whenever you're zooming it, but Again, it's meant more for pulling focus than it is any, or, or making people smaller than it is anything else. Uh, just to, you know, obviously to keep the, the compact size of the head down. So yes, with something like this, uh, as you're cutting, you, you're gonna have to take a couple images. Cool thing is uh, you can take a lot of shots, right? Cards hold a ton of memory these days. Andre so. wants to know, could you put a diffuser on top of the modeling? Probably? So I don't, probably, probably not because, so someone was asking if you could put the diffusion dome on, on the front on front of it to get it to kind of follow along with the modeling light. Probably not because yeah, it will illuminate some of the dome, but because that light is mainly down at the bottom, you don't want to use that light as the thing that's giving, you, again, you don't want to use it as a, a quote unquote modeling light to model the flash. Uh, it's more or less just a, I would better yet say it's more of like a focus light. Uh, and then for portraits too, it's more of a, um, uh, 
it's more of something that you can use to make sure that people don't have gigantic pupils in the shot. You can get some more color in the eyes to get those pupils to, to close down a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't use your modeling light to give you reference as to where the barn door uh, is or isn't. The snoot, while not perfect, uh, actually, uh, I, I was using the snoot earlier uh, with the continuous light on, and that actually was pretty good. It's just the barn door, again, because it's located at the bottom of the flash. So, any other questions about anything? Nothing yet. So cool. So again, it's they're really, really fun stuff. So the the size and shape, uh, where did I, oh, I sent them down over there just so people can see them. So the size and the shape make it, oh, oh <laughs> this one right here. I have so many things everywhere. So the size and the shape makes these things really, really easy to take with you. So this, again, the snoot is really, really tiny. All the magnetic stuff. Uh, you can clip on uh, all of your, you click a gel or a grid on here beforehand uh, to either color the light or to cut it down a little bit more. Uh, and then with the barn doors, I mean, this thing you can kind of just slide right down inside your stuff. Magnetize that to my computer. Probably shouldn't do that. I guess it's a SSD drive, so it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, or as much as an old, old magnetic drive used to. Did you want to um, view the images? Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm going to view the images in just a second, but while we have the camera wide, I want to talk about this because I think people are going to want to talk about it too. Uh, we also have the, the OCF2 adapters now available. Um, I was going to use it earlier uh, and wound up not using it because I kind of liked what I was doing with the barn doors better. I'm going to put you on the side. Oh, gotcha, There's on the side shot. Yeah. So, um, I don't know what the rules are as far as like what they do and don't want you putting on this thing, but I have a three by four softbox in there just because I wanted to try to push it uh, with an A10 clipped inside of it. Um, so it's, it's really nice. So you have the adapter here, you have all the magnets on the inside of it, which will hold down your stuff and it just kind of clips into place. And the nice thing for like your A uh, series stuff, you just turn it sideways and you can rest the body on this. That way you don't have to worry about any downward force. And then I have like a, the little wrist strap around it just in case to kind of help that stuff out though. Um, something to know about uh, the click soft box and the OCF adapter. When you are using things like um, gels or something on the inside, don't put the gels on the flash head and then put the flash head in like that. That's the weakest kind of set up as far as contact goes. You want to always put the flash connected directly to the OCF adapter or the click soft box, right? So put that in there like that. And then here is a lip that you can use to put on gels and stuff like that. So put the gels inside of the soft box. Cool, good. I'm not gonna say anything else. Now let's look at some images. Sorry. I just, I, while I was thinking about the, the OCF adapter, I want to talk about the OCF adapter, but let's talk about the shots that we took. So again, here is the barn door shot wide open. And then right here where we started to bring in the barn door, you can start to see that leaf start to, to creep into the shot. Obviously the top of her head is, uh, hair has gone dark. And now we have this nice sharp line in the background. Uh, but in order to get it to where we wanted, let's get the, the very last shot right before. So here's kind of that evolution of getting the barn door set in place. Like this was that first setting, this is right where we wanted. And you can also see here, let's go to full screen. You can also see here that the line now is more slanted whereas before it was more straight across. So that again is just to kind of play along with the lines that her shoulders are making, right? Very cool stuff. Then let's get rid of the other thing. So let's just go the barn door shot alone. And then we go in with the snoot. And then we go in with the background light just so you can kind of see the evolution of it. So. If you look right here, you can start to see the second shadow from her hair. So this one right here, so it's not here with the barn door shot. And then now we have the second hair shadow right here. And that's obviously from the snoot creating that. You can see it's very, very sharp lines because the light source itself is relatively small. But in order to get rid of that, again, I could have done a couple of things. You can, uh, you can change the light position. You can separate yourself from the background some more if you'd like to, uh, or you could do what we did and we actually uh, used a lit background to separate from the background. So uh, we just took that other A10, we popped it up in the shot. As a matter of fact, I can still kind of see a little bit of uh, her body shadow down here, um, 
but that's not that big of a deal. I mean, it's, it's probably easy, easy to get rid of. Um, I probably could have pumped the power a little bit more on the, um, on the, the A10 at the front with the barn doors to get rid of some of that. But I kind of like the, uh, the light across her body here. So I would probably just get rid of this in Photoshop if I needed to. But other than that, it's pretty dang clean. Uh, the hair shadows, all that good stuff is gone. So we were able to eliminate a lot of that stuff just by adding a light to separate her from the background and make it pop a little bit more. So really, really easy stuff. But that's, you know, three lights with some pretty tiny modifiers, some barn doors, some snoots. Um, and yeah, so again, the barn doors just let us cut the light where we want it to. So we have this, we have this nice little cutoff right here, right across the shoulders. The snoot was a, allowed us to give this nice round spotlight right on her face to give a really cool highlight. And then that A10 in the background, just to separate it a little bit. And Boris would like to know, can I use the OCF gels with them? Yes. Uh, so can you use the OCF gels with... I think he's talking about the snoot. So, so with the new, um, with the OCF adapter, you can use OCF gels with uh, like the A2 and the A10. So you can, you can 100% do that. Can you use the OCF gels with this? You can't, you can use click gels. So like you could take, um, sorry, you could take your click gel and just snaps right on and it goes around to the front of the light. So now I have a, a pink light as opposed to um, the, the clean, the clear flash that we would have had. So yes, the click gels, uh, you just obviously put those on first. And the last thing that goes in the light with like gels or grids is, and the grids will do it too. Uh, and the grids will tighten the light up a little bit. So, um, you just want to put those on first and then the on top of that with the barn doors, it's going to be in reverse. Uh, I guess it doesn't have to be in reverse. Uh, but with the barn doors, you would, um, I'm trying to think, would you, would you go and reverse the barn doors with the grids? Actually, I might actually put the barn doors on, on last, uh, come to think of it. So that just because, uh, I just want to, I haven't even thought to test this, but now I want to think, I want to test it. Let's test it together. So let's take. <laughs> oh, that's your face. So sorry. Oh, <laughs> hi. Up close and personal. So with the gel on the inside. The cool thing about the, the new click stuff is is all these are pretty strong, but with the gel on the inside, would you like a tight shot? You know what? I think uh, just I, I I hadn't tested this right off the the jump. I don't think maybe so it holds just fine, right? But it's not super strong, just because these leaves get in the way. It's definitely more of a put the gel on the inside kind of thing and lock it in like that. That's how you want to do it. So gel on the inside. The only reason I was thinking about uh, whether you'd want it on the inside or outside is on the outside, if you're trying to close the leaves down tighter, you're going to run into the, a point where you can't close the leaves down because now the gel's blocking it. So with the barn doors, you're going to want to put the barn doors on last also. So that way now I have the gel on and I can still cut the light pretty sharp if I want to. Uh, whereas if that gel was on the outside, uh, you would want you, you wouldn't have the ability to close the door, the leaves all the way. So I'm glad that we were talking about that. Thank you for bringing that. Was that Boris who brought that up? Boris. Thanks, Boris. And then um, I have a, um, Glenn is asking, would turning the light spread adjustment ring on front of the A10 have any effect on using the barn door? No, again, it's because it, it really is because, here, here's this one. It really is because the, um, the the modeling light is here at the bottom whereas if you cut let's let's do this let's do a demo just so you so i can show you what i'm talking about you want to hop up in here Kate? Yeah, totally cool um, now that i have a softbox that i threw it in the middle of the floor so we're going to take make sure that lights off the background here and just so i can kind of show you what's going on with it side shot going on uh yeah side shot's fine so okay. i'm going to put this light kind of right back where we were and you right back where you were. Oh, no, here we go. We were right here because I put marks on the floor. Mm -hmm. So if I turn on the continuous light right now and I cut the light with the continuous light, so I see it and that's right across her shoulders with the continuous light. Now with with everything else. Yeah, yeah I, I turned everything off and turned it back on. It's back though, uh, or the continuous lights. So let's turn the continuous light back on. So with that continuous light right now, it's cut right at her shoulders. Cool. 
So here's what the actual light looks like. Three, two, one. That's why you can't use a continuous light. Even with the light spread, it's the, it, the actual cutoff point from the flash is you know at her knees. So again, you, you really, you're gonna wanna take a couple of shots just to kinda hone it in with the A-series stuff. You can't rely on the continuous light. So don't, uh, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, and again, it's just because of the placement of the continuous light need to be where it needs to be, so. Yes, but... Yeah. My eyes are flashed. Oh, you got flashed? You, yeah. So who, who, who has something? Where's that? Uh, but what about the flat wide angle diffuser he just removed from the background light? Yeah, so I did just take the flat wide angle diffuser off the background light. It's just something I want to do. The reason I don't talk about it is because you can't really get it right now. Uh, but you could easily have done what I've done. Yes, yeah, solid eye. Uh, the wide angle diffuser is not going to change anything. Again, it's all because that light is at the bottom of the flash head. So, astute eye on the diffusion, know, right? on the wide angle lens. Um, cool. So, but that was pretty fun stuff. Uh, really, really easy. Again, snoots just give you this really nice, crisp, round light that. Uh, doesn't really have any light bouncing around the inside of it, so it gives you this nice pointed spot. Cool, really good for hair lights, really good for accent lights, really good for just putting the light right where you want it. Uh, I like snoots a lot. They're really, really fun. Oh, Boris also says, I mean the OCF adapter two with the OCF gels B10, the OCF softbox B10. Hold on, let me see what you say, yeah, Boris. take a look. Boris, sorry, I, I mean. I answered the right question here. Yeah, can you use the OCF adapter two with OCF gels? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, so um, it doesn't it doesn't click on. So this isn't magnetic. So here, just show you this. Losing them again. Yeah, I'm I'm hide, I'm hiding in corners and stuff. So so like this isn't made for. Uh, you would still need to so like yeah oh, just so like that's hooking to the the metal piece for the uh, for the click. So that's not really magnetic right there. You would still need to use, um, see where mine is. That's my snoot. Sorry, I have bags on bags of snoots apparently. Here we go. So it should be this one. So you have to use the, um, the adapter to the front this way. But yes, it will fit on here just fine. And then you have pop your gels. So uh, you 100% can use it. You still have to use that OCF adapter to get your gels onto the front of it. But after that, you can still again stack the snoot on top of that and, and use all that. So if you already have those OCF things, you can keep using them. Cool. Anything else or are we good? I think we're good. Sweet. Thank you all so much for kicking it with us. Uh, Really, really excited about having snoots and barn doors in the click lineup. Again, don't rely on that modeling light with the barn doors. Uh, just because of that placement, it can be a problem. Uh, it, it's not going to put the light right where you think it's going to. Uh, but other than that, they're really, really solid modifiers. There's good, a good little addition to the lineup, and you can do a lot of fun stuff with them. Uh, we used, obviously, again, the barn doors to do this really cool uh, light where we cut it right across Kate's shoulders. Yeah, we did to cut it right across Kate's shoulders and to keep the body in some sort of even illumination. And then we added in the snoot to bring some light to her face and kind of bring the attention right there. And then we threw another light on the background just to get rid of some shadows and add some separation. But really, really fun stuff. Uh, I had a lot of fun making the image. Kate, did you have fun making the image? Yeah. Cool. Thank you all so, uh, so much for kicking it with us. If you have any other questions about anything and you want to talk to one of us live, uh, you can click on the link in the description and you can jump in and talk to either Gibbet or Anders or myself and we'll be there hanging out. So in the meantime, have an awesome rest of your week. We'll see you next time. Peace out, everybody.